Hi guys, it's Anna. How are you? Today I am going to be planning out um, in my Michael's Recollection Coiled Vertical Layout Planner. That's a lot to say <laughs> for the past week, which was um, April 30th through May 6th. Yes, we are in May. Let me go ahead and take that off. That's just the name of the kit. And I wanted to go ahead and show you what I am going to be planning out this week, which I always do, so I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> I am going to use this printable kit and a free kit. Is this a free printable? This is from Planner One Love. It is a blog um, website that she does create her own sticker kits and she just has them out there for anyone to print and use and of course it's just for personal use this kit here is called no pro llama get it play on words because there's llamas um this was not going to be the original kit that i'm going to use for the well let me let me backtrack this wasn't the original kit that I wanted to use for the first week of May because May is Lupus Awareness Month. Hence, I have the purple and violet nails and I do have lupus. So I wanted to go ahead and use this whole month to be kits that have some type of purple tones in it. But I scratched that for this week, maybe next week as well, <laughs> because I saw this and I thought it was appropriate for this week. Granted, she has this on her blog post for a while now, and I actually printed one before, which was this one, this sheet, but I ran out of paper, and you can't really tell on film, but this one's brighter than this one, but it's okay, because this was my old sticker paper, and this is my new one that is recycled. So, I don't think there is a difference, you can't really tell, but I'm just telling you, I've seen this before, and I wanted to use it, but I didn't even know when to use it. But I thought it was really cute, and I love the blues and greens, and I love my blues. But I thought it was very, very appropriate to use it for this week for two reasons. One, it was gold wild last week from the 3rd to the 6th. So kudos to those who was able to make it, and I'm glad you had fun. And thanks for sharing everything you shared online, on Instagram, really. And also because it was single de Mayo on the 5th, which was this past Saturday. So I think it went well with the week. So yeah, I wanted to use it. Um, I am Latina, but I am Puerto Rican. I don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. So before I continue, I just want to let you know that I do have my fan on in the background. So you might hear that because I have my windows closed because there's just way too many dogs barking. And yeah, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, but I really need some air some kind of airflow because these lights are super hot. So I'm going to go ahead and start off like I usually do and put the bones down. So I am going to use, of course, the bottom washi. And I am going to try to plan out differently today. I want to do a different style, but I just want to go ahead and show you what I have in mind for um, the headers. I am going to use the todays and the to do's but differently but I wanted to put on the top row mermaid theme one and my unicorn theme so I think this blue it's perfect for um, the kit and also this aqua color where did I see it mostly I think on the full box yeah like it's it's perfect match right there and I think that's it. I'm just going to alternate between them two. I'm not too sure about this green. I was thinking maybe this green, but it's a little bit too green. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to use this one and this one. So those are my um, glitter choices. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put that down, which will be quick, and I'll be right back.
Okay, so this is how it is turning out. And I didn't even open this right. Okay. So, yeah, I really love the glitter headers. It matches perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and do day by day. I already did the sidebar. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So I wanted to try something different. I wanted to actually do my day before I actually tell you what I want to do so that way I can lay it all out and write everything in and then explain after. So hopefully this will work out for me. I, I like to experiment and do different types of planning to see, you know, if it's going to work out or not. Plus, you know, it gets really boring doing the same style over and over. So anyway, um, of course I put this but first Monday this script sticker is from hmm, where is it from paper and gumption and then I took a coffee cup from Templar craft I put the to do header and half of a checkbox list and I used two of my stickers here this one is um, print all stickers and then this one is cut day this is actually from I was saying this is in my shop under uh, sticker shop to do so yeah I use that and then I use a leftover nail polish sticker from another principal kit and I use the sticky acorn YouTube binge girl um, Mikey or Mickey whichever one you want to say is M-I-K-I and then I also use it's a leftover from another kit because I didn't have any build dudes in this kit and I don't have any of my own. So that is Monday and in fact while I have you here I am going to fill this in and check them all off because I did take all my medication. So on this weekly tracker I usually just put like the main thing I did for my shop each day. And here I'll just put at the end of the week a little quote sticker and that's it. So, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, my Tuesday, so I'll be back. So here's Wednesday. Wednesday I just had to film and edit for my video on Thursday. I had to clean my workspace and it was the first hot day here in a long time and it felt good. It was 95 degrees so I definitely had to use this here and this is to denote that my daughter was sick. This was like the first day that she was really sick so yeah. Let's just go ahead and turn on to the latter portion of the week and I'll be right back.
So this is my Thursday. I obviously did not go to Go Wild, but Go Wild um, began on the 3rd, and I wanted to just denote that, and I did laundry. I uploaded for Thursday, and then I just binged on Netflix. So let's go ahead and move on to Friday. So moving on to Friday, my rent was due, and I had to take both my daughter's cars, uh, my oldest and my youngest car, to the shop. Well, one is to get, um, I guess one of her oil pressure sensor was messed up. I had to get that replaced, and then for the Mazda, I uh, just had to get emissions done. And then I just went and visited my mom, because um, where she lives is right next to the hospital where I had the appointment, and I got two cortisone injections in my knees, one in each knee, and I was told to be on bed rest for the rest of the weekend and day. So, let's go ahead and move on to Saturday. Okay guys, so it is basically two days later <laughs> while I was doing Saturday's um, plans. I actually had to stop filming and TMI, I had to go vomit, sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah, when I get cortisone shots um, anywhere in my body, cortisone does uh, really raise up my uh, blood sugar and I guess it was a little bit too high and I just up chuck. So I'm back and I'm feeling a lot better and um, yeah, the day after that I didn't have a voice because it was like hurting my throat. So let's go ahead and finish this. And so the last thing I did was Saturday, which I just put the um, Mikey emoji head like she's in pain because my knees were hurting after the shot. I'm still on bed rest and I had sushi dinner. My daughter ordered sushi for me and then I had Netflix and chill because I just Netflixed it the rest of the day. And this little shark here is from Pookie Bear Cuties. It's to signify my shark week. You know what I mean by that. And so now let's go ahead and do Sunday. And I'll be back. I have to go back and figure out what I did for Sunday. So this is how everything looks um, when it's open and I think it looks awesome and I still have a lot left of this two page kit. And yeah, I really do love it. I love the theme. It basically goes well with Cinco de Mayo and it definitely goes well with the Go Wild. So don't forget to go ahead and visit um, this blog I will link everything down below the shops I use everything and also I have two coupon codes you could use so for my Tepla Craft uh, coupon code PR code is still the same and loved but instead of 15% she actually boosted it up to 25% so don't miss out on that and also I do have a coupon code for sticky sloth design and it is um, Anna 25 for 25% off. So yeah, I'm sorry that it took forever and no one was expecting me to get sick, not even I. So yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You know, it does help my channel a lot. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.